Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, we, I don't know how many of you still remember Muhammad Abduba Dida. Mohamed Abdubadida vied for a presidency in the year 2013 under Alliance for Real Change. And he was very famous back then. I don't know. I think if you looked at the results which uh, came out, I think it was uh, the days of Isaac Hassan, if I'm not wrong. In that election, Mohamed Abdubadida beat Mata Karua, because Mata Karua also contested during that time. But that is not the reason why I brought this analysis, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, there is something that Muhammad Abdul Badida has reacted to. And uh, there are so many people shared videos about hired, uh, hired children, hired, you know, Kenyans who are hired to come to that event. A lot of these videos were done. So there are so many people who have reacted. Uh, you have seen so many people of them. But there is one particular person by the name Muhammad Abduba Dida. Who also said whoever took those school children to the stadium to chant Ruto should be shamed of themselves. So I want us to go deep into this remark by Muhammad Abduba Dida. Because he has weighed in on the same same matter. And uh, just like I said, for those who followed that event, you must have realized that it's a league that some, some people are ferried. And uh, there was also a video that leaked of uh, one of those people who are ferried there. So we saw some of these things. I want us to go deeper into this statement, a statement that Muhammad uh, Abdul Badida said. But before we get there, and I'd like to kindly uh, encourage anybody who has not subscribed to this channel to please just take one second. Go below there. There's a button written subscribe. Just hit it once if you had not subscribed before. Also, don't forget to like this video. When you do that, this video gets shared to other people who are not part of uh, the, uh, the audience. So just like this video and also don't forget to subscribe. So let's head over to this analysis of what Muhammad Abdul Badida said. So to start us with, let me get to you up to speed with this statement. So Abdul Badida said, whoever took those school children to the stadium to feel it and make them chant Ruto should be ashamed of themselves. The parents that allowed their children to go to school to go should equally be ashamed. Moism ended. A child can't vote, therefore the child must not be used for politics. Well, that's what uh, Dida seems to believe. So he also goes further to say, the lowest the OP have sunk Jamhuri Day is a, is a day to take pride as Kenyans, pay tribute to our fallen heroes, acknowledge our distinguished Kenyans. So in other words, what Dida is trying to say is that he noticed that uh, the status uh, agents used Watoto Ashule to create a fake a fake picture. Perhaps he says that this Watoto Ashule I want an ID. The fact that they are chanting, they are chanting for something they don't know. I know uh, back then, during Moi's era, Moi is one of those presidents who used to take advantage of uh, Watoto Ashule. Most of the time, when you would come to probably Mombasa or Nairobi, you would find that watoto wa shule ngekuwa ta line kata barabara. Shule nzima liko, shule zote zikos takuja barabarani. So, they would, uh, walikuwa ta laki raisa kipita wakati uo. So, I am looking at what uh, William Ruto is trying to en uh, embrace as to having something akin to what Moi did back then. Moi used a similar tactic to uh, bring in or rather to to align himself himself amongst the youth you see the truth of the matter is that what did is trying to say is that how to what to do how I live with the pain you know they will chant to anything they are told the the, the most important thing to them is that so did is saying that 
you should have invited people who are on their on the real struggle watu wa shule ni watu wanalipwa fees wanalipwa chakula wanalipwa kila kitu but the real people like people in university these are people who are now facing life first hand so these are the people who ought to have been invited for that uhuru, uhuru garden uh, event of a uh, uh, jamhuri day so what did i say makes a lot of sense ladies and gentlemen i think dida makes sense here because then why would the government take watoto i started off by telling you that uh, there are so many people who did videos watoto like were hired there were empty seats there was you hired uh, attendees of that meeting these are things which have been happening you know politics is a dirty game so so to say and uh being a dirty game the other things to be seems to believe that it was a very very wrong opinion to bring watoto wa shule pale to to chant the idea is just to chant they would chant at anything to anything so dida in other words exposes uh, the government telling the government that you are afraid to hire people real people what about ni above 18 because of these people are facing the hardship of this regime first hand so as a result if you bring them there of course the remark or the the the, the response will be uh, negative and since the government amekuwa kizomwa zomwa sana this time round wanaogopa kuzomwa wamesema kwamba hawataki kuzomwa tena ndio maana wanaona ah after that leo watoto watoto watashangilia anything watoto if you, even if you tell them that oh tomorrow fees itapanda they will chant they will always chant at anything and everything so dida's remarks here i think mimi kivyangu naona kama abdu badida has a point yeah whoever took those school children to the stadium to chant ruto should be shamed of themselves and these are even parents he's saying he's talking about whoever took them and the parents also who allowed that to happen he deems the whole thing as kuaribu tu watoto ku misuse watoto to push the agenda of uh, the el- uh, uh, the elite this is what dida seems to believe those are not my words ladies and gentlemen those are words of muhammad dida the presidential can- uh, candidate who vied in 20- 2013 under alliance for real change so just go below the comment section and tell us what you think about muhammad abdul badida's remarks far as uh, what happened during the amhuri day and uh, do you agree with him just go below the comment section and tell us what your perception are as far as that matter is concerned now ladies and gentlemen just go below there there's a button written to subscribe if you're not subscribed before and like this video and to those who supported this channel before i want to say here that i'm forever grateful for that support because without you this channel cannot grow so until you catch up again stay safe and stay blessed